A differential equation is simply an equation that contains a derivative. In this module, we will study the simplest type of differential equation, which we call a pure time differential equation. Let's imagine we have some function, x of t, where we view t as time. x of t could represent, for example, the position of a car at time t as it drives down a street. If we differentiate x, we obtain its derivative, dx dt, which gives the rate at which x is changing. In the driving example, dx dt would represent the car's velocity. If we knew the car's position at each time, i.e., if we knew the function x of t, then we could determine its velocity by taking the derivative. That's all simple enough, but what if, on the other hand, we didn't know the car's position, but we did know its velocity? Let's say we knew that at time t, its velocity was f of t for some function f. In other words, we knew that the derivative dx dt at time t equals f of t. This information can be expressed as an equation involving the derivative dx dt equals f of t. We call this equation a differential equation because it is an equation involving a derivative. In particular, it's a pure time differential equation because the right-hand side, f of t, is a function only of time t. It does not depend on position x. An example of a pure time differential equation is dx dt equals 3t squared. If x of t is position, then the differential equation states that the velocity increases faster and faster as time increases, as illustrated by this graph of the velocity. Here's an example where we don't even give the equation for the right-hand side, f of t, but simply specify what the graph of f looks like. If x of t is the position of the car, then the differential equation means that the car starts off moving slowly forward, slows down and even backs up a bit, moves forward, then backward more quickly, and finally speeds up to move quickly forward before slowing down and stopping. Notice how when f is positive, i.e. when the derivative dx dt is positive, then the car's position is increasing. When f is negative, the car's position is decreasing. And when f is zero, the car is stopped. Our primary goal when we encounter a pure time differential equation, other than understanding what it means, will be to solve the differential equation. To solve a pure time differential equation, we need to do the opposite of differentiation. We are given what the derivative is, i.e. that the derivative dx dt is f of x, and we want to determine the function x of t itself. To wrap up this introductory lecture, let's work out a simple example of solving a pure time differential equation. Imagine that a car is traveling north along a highway at 110 kilometers per hour. Let x of t denote the position of the car in kilometers north of the start of the highway. In this case, since the velocity is constant, the differential equation is simple. The velocity, dx dt, equals 110. The graph of the velocity is pretty boring, just a horizontal line indicating a constant function. We can animate our car and make it move at the constant speed of 110 kilometers per hour. Since this equation is so simple, we can just guess a solution to the differential equation. A possible solution is x of t equals 110 times t, where t is given in hours and x is given in kilometers. Since we just guessed the solution, we should check to verify that it is a solution. In other words, we should check that dx dt is indeed 110. To do this, we simply calculate the derivative of x of t. The derivative of 110 t with respect to t is exactly 110, just what we required. The function x of t equals 110 t does check out to be a solution of our differential equation. The position is increasing steadily at a rate of 110 kilometers per hour. For this solution, since x of 0 is 0, the car is at the southern end of the highway when t equals 0. But that isn't the only possibility. What if we were told that the car was actually 230 kilometers north from the border when t equals 0? Clearly, x of t equals 110 t is not the correct solution. How can we fix our solution so that the car starts in the right place? 
since we want x of 0 to be 230, we could try adding 230 to our original solution. When we do that, we obtain a new guess for the solution, x of t equals 110t plus 230. We better check to see if this really works. First, we check if the derivative is correct. Since the derivative of the constant 230 is 0, adding 230 didn't change the derivative, and dx dt is still 110 as required. Plugging in t equals 0, we verify that x of 0 is 230 as required. In fact, since the derivative of any number is 0, we could actually add any number to the function x of t equals 110t, and it would still satisfy the differential equation. Let's first see this graphically by looking closer at the applet used to make the animations. Right now, I have the solution set to start at position 230 as before. Let's take a look at the graph of x of t. As you can see, it has a slope of 110, since its derivative is 110. By turning on the animation, we can see the relationship between the car's position at each time and the graph of x of t. By dragging the green diamond, I can change the starting position of the car. This modification just raises the entire graph of the function x of t, i.e. adds a constant to x of t. No matter what this initial value is, the slope of the graph is 110, and the car is moving forward at 110 kilometers per hour. We use the concept of a general solution to represent the fact that you can add any constant, and you'll still have a solution to the differential equation. We'll use the variable c to indicate an arbitrary constant that can take on any value. For our differential equation, dx dt equals 110, the general solution is x of t equals 110 times t plus c. We can verify that the general solution indeed satisfies the differential equation by taking the derivative. Since the derivative of a constant is 0, the constant drops out upon differentiation, and we obtain that dx dt is equal to 110. We have seen two types of solutions to our differential equation. The general solution, x of t equals 110t plus c, represents all possible solutions to the differential equation and contains an arbitrary constant c. For any particular solution, such as x of t equals 110t plus 230, we've pinned down the constant to a particular value, in this case, 230. The procedure to solve a pure time differential equation is to first determine the general solution and then pin down the value of the constant to get the particular solution. How do we pin down the constant? We need more information about the solution. An initial condition, i.e. the value of x at t equals 0, would work nicely. For example, if we were given the initial condition x of 0 equals 370, we can plug that value into the general solution. Substitute t equals 0 into the formula for the general solution to determine that x of 0 equals c. Therefore, c must be 370, and we have the particular solution, x of t equals 110t plus 370.